Tanya Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, May 30th. So today we have the moon in Libra all day. And of course, with the moon in Libra, we are illuminated to the areas of our lives that are extreme, that are out of whack, that are crazy and chaotic, so that we can attempt to bring them into balance. Of course, we're very focused on relationships in this Libra energy, and we are definitely trying to keep things light and fluffy. However, we have a lot to say. We have some realizations that we need to express, and those particular conversations can definitely take us in the deep end of the emotional toll that we've all been going through and what it is that we need to get off of our chest. So there are nine different aspects here today. Eight of them involve the moon. The moon and Saturn come together in an opportunity for us to see choices, for us to see options, opportunities, especially where bossing up to new roles and responsibilities are concerned, really kind of getting real and raw and vulnerable with what it is that we want, we need, we desire. And again, a lot of this energy can definitely bring a heaviness, a weight, a little bit of a funk to our emotional realm, but we need to sit in that discomfort in order for us to see what is important to us, what it is that we have to declare, what it is that we have to talk about in order to clear the air, clear the space and get everyone on the same page. The moon will then interact with Mercury. Mercury, of course, ruler of the mental plane, almost clear of his post-retrograde shadow period. That will be clear on June 1st. So this is our heart and our head coming together. And of course, Mercury is in Taurus energy, the moon being in Libra energy. Their one commonality is Venus, their ruler. So this is an epiphany, if you will, on what it is that we need to talk about, what it is that we need to express, what it is we got to get off our chest, what it is that we have to actually kind of bring out into the open, especially where our partnerships, our relationships are concerned and recognizing where it is that the energy exchange in those relationships need a little bit more attention to balance the scales, to reach a point of compromise, to make peace with some of the things that we have been struggling to really accept in our lives. The moon in Libra is going to trine beautiful energy with the sun, who of course is in Gemini energy. The trine is because this is air on air action. And of course, the moon kind of represents where it is that we're coming from, especially emotionally speaking. The sun shining a bright light on where it is that we would prefer to be going. And of course, those choices, very extreme, very dualistic in nature in this Gemini energy. We're still trying to sort things out. But a trine means that we are definitely starting to see where in this present moment, the overlap of the past and the present and the future is coming to a head. And in order for us to change the course of the path and moving forward, we have to stand in our power here in this present moment and really get our emotions, our thoughts out into the open so that we can, of course, have a good chat about it all. The moon will then interact with Saturn again, but this time in a much better way. We are almost rising to the challenge, rising to these new roles and responsibilities, realizing where it is that we have to take power back into our own hands. And in this case, power back into our own voice to be able to clearly and confidently talk about where our needs are not being met, what it is that we want, need, desire, and deserve, and where it is that we can make some changes, especially to the relationship dynamics that we still deem to be of worth and value in our lives. The moon goes ahead, makes a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in this Taurus energy. We're definitely going to have a different perspective emerge. And of course, with the moon in Libra, we're all about trying to see both sides of the coin. We're trying to see all perspectives, all angles of circumstances, of situations, and we're definitely going to be illuminated to new details, new information, a new perspective, a new understanding that we haven't had up until this particular point, which may skew the plans, the strategy, the steps that we were planning on taking and moving forward. We will have to reframe a couple of things, find a brand new grounding point before we launch ourselves in a brand new path, a brand new direction. 
The moon will interact with Mercury again, but not in the same way as we did before. Uh, this isn't as comfy, as harmonizing as the earlier aspect was. Instead, we are being kind of positioned, especially with this new information, this new perspective emerging. We are presented with different options, different crossroads point, different possibilities. And now our heart and our head are not on the same page at all because we have new things to consider, definitely altering the plans that we thought we were going to take. The moon goes ahead, makes a positive interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. In this Leo energy, the heart and soul of the zodiac, very anxious to get started, anxious to pursue new paths of happiness, creativity, joy. And this is a interaction, a positive one that really kind of gets the spark, gets the fire, gets the flames relit within us. We are inspired. We are motivated. We are determined to definitely align with what it is that we have to do to create more happiness, joy, pleasure, safety, security, peace, harmony in our lives and of course all of this is a heart activation really calling us on a brand new path a brand new mission brand new purpose brand new truth the sun in gemini energy will make a very very beautiful aspect with neptune neptune of course in his place of power this is going to make us a little bit more sensitive we are kind of opening our heart up to new levels of empathy and compassion this is going to kind of renew our faith maybe within ourselves maybe within the greater grander process but definitely seeing people from a different perspective a different angle and we are definitely moving into the realm of imagination of fantasy of spiritual creativity if you will in order to conjure up a daydream a maybe even night dream a uh, vision, a goal of where it is that we want to go from here, especially just receiving new information, new insights, and a new perspective on some of the situations that we kind of had plans already made around. We're definitely considering different possibilities and options to move forward, but we are opening our hearts up and kind of feeling our way through some of the logic and practical common sense that has been thrown at us with some of the details emerging that we weren't previously privy to. We are going to wrap the day up with the moon in Libra opposing sitting across from Chiron, the wounded healer, who of course is in this Aries energy. This is definitely going to bring up some fears, some doubts, some insecurities, especially coming out of that beautiful aspect between the sun and Neptune. We kind of live a fantasy land, an imaginary land in our headspace. It feels so good. And then we get dropped back into the present moment in this physical realm with these physical circumstances. And suddenly we're just not so sure on how we're going to bring the dream and the vision to life. And because of that, we're really questioning who it is that we are, who it is that we need to be in order to rise up to these roles, these responsibilities, these new levels of karma. And because of that, we're starting to kind of pick ourselves apart. Of course, indecision runs very strong with this Libra energy. And now, just when we thought that we had a particular angle, we had a different perspective, we had a different feeling, now we're starting to kind of reprocess those particular thoughts and emotions. And it honestly doesn't feel so good. Now we do have to sit in the funk in order to realize where we have to build ourselves back up in a much better, much stronger way. And for most of us, this is going to be an illumination on where it is that the wounds are still alive and well, and where it is that we have to take extra time, extra attention in order to address them. <laughs> <laughs>